Hello there everybody, Nick Dutch back again. Hi there, how is it going? Uh, answering another private message, this one's about astral projection. It says here, you've talked about astral projection in one of your videos. Do you believe astral projection is real? The reason I ask you is because you seem to have a no bullshit attitude towards this and wouldn't believe something unless you have a good reason to believe it. Okay, well what I've carried on saying is that you can have a strange experience, a strange experience is real, therefore the strange experience is real, but we can't see all that much as a result of it. I mean, the experience of the astral projection, in my humble opinion, is real. Okay, there's nothing in my mind which says anything else to the contrary of that. It is something you can do, and you can seemingly, you know, well, no, not seemingly. You, you can have the experience of sharing dreams with people who don't even know you're doing all this weird astral projection practice stuff anyway, and to do so apparently deliberately. Um, and stuff like that. So yes, something strange is happening there, which says something about us as human beings, says something about consciousness will stop. And it's not just a lucid dream, because it seems to have an impact upon somebody else's mind a long distance away. So it's, it's in my mind's eye, it can't just be a lucid dream. All right, now if you were not um, attempting to influence somebody else's mind, if you are not attempting to have some kind of impact and effect upon their mind, all right, and you didn't knowingly have any impact or effect upon their mind, or there wasn't a very, very strong uh, coincidental or type of connection somehow between what they dreamt of on that night and what you tried to make happen, then, you've, then it's a different situation. But it's, with what I've done, it's not like that. Okay, because I have had those experiences, which makes me think, yeah, dream telepathy or uh, something along those lines. Maybe that's it. Maybe you're not actually leaving your body, but who knows? I mean, it could be that the, uh, the experience of leaving your body is just your mind making a construct, where, whereas in reality, your perception is somehow moving over distance. But on the other hand, that doesn't always seem to make sense, logically speaking, so I don't think I can say that. I think it would make much more sense to say that the astral body is real and that astral projection is real. And that's the best way in which we can actually sort of like describe or define the whole situation really. Uh, so, you know, it's not just a lucid dream. It really is not. And you just got to experience it and have these things in order to understand them. It's a bit like anything, like driving a car. You properly understand that when you're doing it, not when you're just sitting in a classroom learning about it. Uh, it's, it's just like going to the theatre for the first time. You may have heard people talking about the theatre, but you go there and then you understand what a theatrical experience is really like. Okay? Or well, it's like going, you know, being in another country you, you go there then you find out what, what it's like to be in that country and so on and so forth it's not just a dream it really isn't so that's my opinion obviously we got more questions to ask but we don't have all that many answers apart from the fact that the experience itself seems to happen so my recommendation is to go and have your strange experiences and to enjoy them 